Hello, lovelies. I am prompted to do a collective card pull today. Middle of the month kind of a deal. And so much has already happened in the first 16 days of June 2024. Um, I'm sure you're feeling it one way or the other. There's a lot of old energy coming up to be reconciled. There's a lot of new energy to come in to be integrated. There's a lot of growth potential. Um, so I thought we would consult the cards and see what the cards have to say today. Beyond Lemuria deck is what I was guided to use, as well as the Starseed deck, Keepers of the Light, and Angels and Ancestors. So I have developed a little bit more content this morning, and I was just feeling like there was something else I needed to do. And this is what came through. Okay, clear all negative energy from this deck. Calling on the angels, the archangels, the ascendant masters, source creator, Mother Sophia, our Lemurian ancestors, soul extensions and guides, emissaries. What is the now moment message for the collective going forward seven earth days? Honestly, when I say going forward seven earth days, I think, well, that's almost like say in a month because... In one Earth day, it feels like I go through three of three to five days on average of of information. What is the now moment message for the collective going forward? Seven Earth days. Is this card for the collective? My no is front and back. Is this card for the collective? Is this card for the collective? Is this card for the collective? And is this card for the collective? Perfect. Curious. Okay. I hope everyone is actually doing better with, with uh, general energy body maintenance. That's hydration of really good water. Um, Himalayan salt to kind of boost your electrolytes and balance that out. Grounding, feet on the ground, feet in the water, feet in the sand, um, and sitting in nature. If you're not one to meditate, you can still just be in your energy, in nature, and that will help to ground the energies that are coming in and assist in developing the light codes um, in your energy form. Star seed elemental is the first card that comes up. Card number 45, star seed elemental. So the elementals are our fey realm. Gnomes, elves, pixies. So star seed elementals are a huge portion of the collective. It has been my experience that there's about 98% that is of the fey realm. That is to say, you have had incarnations in the Fey realm more than other realms. So um, most are, for an example, if you're Arcturian, uh, Pleiadian, Fey, the Fey is going to have a real influence on your traits. Um, so this is a strong push to say the starseed elementals are stepping into their power. What they have had to overcome is more than your average star seed because as a space race, as a higher dimensional race, they have been very mistreated, trapped, um, exploited, their gifts and talents. They've been put in globes. They've been put in um, containers. They've been not allowed to grow, not allowed to play. Um, they they So in this life, in this realm, when they, they come in with that energy, some of the characteristics you see in the human is trust issues, nervousness, anxiety, um, panic attacks. Um, they just have Im immense self-doubt. They apologize for just being there. They don't even have to do anything 
or, or they just feel like they have to apologize. When they ask a question, they apologize. Like they started out with, I'm sorry, I have a question. You know, like this just this overwhelming sense of guilt and shame. And they have really done a lot of soul growth and they have done a lot to take their power back. And they're actually stepping into the power. All the energy coming in is for our highest and best good. And in doing that, we develop in a way we're remembering what our powers are and we step into them. And for many, especially the elementals, it feels very foreign because it's never been okay, like okay to be in your power um, because they were persecuted, they were exploited, they were taken advantage of and they were harmed. And so they've been tiptoeing into this reality where the dimension is higher and the abilities are higher and everyone around them is actually got a higher frequency and so that gives them some safe area like a safety net like they really don't feel um that out of alignment with those around them anymore because of the rising collective consciousness healing i love this card so uh on a on a mass scale, the, I've said this many, many times, lots of, of tuned in, um, you know, energy healers, workers, star seed, light workers, way showers have felt this for a very, very long time that there are those who actively seek out to, um, heal and align their energy body so that they have a clear flow of energy coming through them, grounded into earth and connect it to the higher dimensions okay it's it literally is as above so below however there's a lot of people that have the potential to do that but they don't believe they they lack the faith they lack the they have not allowed themselves to remember and they're not tapping into the gnosis and they're still getting the healing benefits, okay? So when they're out there, they're getting the codes, they're being in the sunshine and these big, huge CME energies come in, you're still getting healing. You're still able to um, benefit from this, whether your brain is actually allowing you cognitively to be aware of it. And I happen to just love that. <clears throat> Trust your innocence. Absolutely beautiful card. I love this card. Trust your innocence. This goes along with a lot of um, guilt and shame and blame that is born out of indoctrination and dogma. We are not born in sin. That is a lie. That is a trap to get you to feel like you're always less than and to be disempowered. Our arrival in this planet and our arrival in human form is number one a choice on a soul level and not an accident in any way shape or form and completely innocent and given the opportunity can be immensely powerful and so trust your innocence to me my interpretation is I feel this is Tap into the true innocence of your being. You are good intentioned. You have a good heart. You have a good spirit. You don't have nefarious intent against others. Don't let someone else's opinion or indoctrination affect you and make you feel less than innocent. Okay. Many, many of us are truly innocent. We have been wrapped up in webs of deceit and lies. And that does not mean that we took an active role in that. So don't let someone sway you into believing that you're guilty or shameful uh, for anything unless you truly are. Air, paradigm shift. This is the element of air. There is definitely a paradigm shift. You see the lotus flowers at the bottom and so many eyes and then stars with sacred geometry at the top. And um, air as an element we can't see it, right? It's that element that really does foster our faith because obviously we see the power of air in tornadoes. We see the wind move the trees and the leaves and all sorts of things. We see the power of 
air in motion, but you can't see the air. It's like you see the power of your faith. You see the power of source creator, Mother Sophia, but they're not in a physical form. They're not tangible. However, they are super powerful, omniscient and omnipotent, all things encompassing at, in their energy being. And so the air energy delivers the shift. Okay. There's people say there's, there's something in the air tonight. Well, we our empathic selves can definitely feel the energy coming and flowing through the air. The element of air is saying it's supercharged. We are aligned for big things. It is electrified. And this card says paradigm shift. When you tune in and tap into the energies that are in the elements that are all around us all the time, you will feel the shift you will feel it. It's palpable. That's where it starts to become uh, less invisible and you start to feel the tangible effects of the power of that element of air. Now we will move on to the star sea deck. One of my absolute favorites remove all negative energy from this deck i call in the angels the archangels the ascendant masters source creator mother sophia star seeds soul extensions and emissaries what do you have for the collective in this now moment going forward seven earth days There's so many big energy shifts that I'm not surprised so much has already come out of this reading. Is this for the collective? 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 The seven star sisters birthing creations, the tapestry of life and expression. And this is a nod to the Pleiadian Seven Sisters and the Pleiadian Star System illustrated at the top. This is also because they, the Pleiadians, as well as the Arcturians and the Andromedans, have been a part of monitoring and mentoring and helping to align and heal all beings on this planet that we know as earth from the very, very beginning. So that's why many of us resonate and relate to Pleiadians because we are a part of them. They actually, one of the root races that donated DNA to create the, the human species that we became. So Birthing creations, they definitely had a hand in that. The tapestry of life and expression. And you see how they're getting together and they're dancing and they're under the night sky. And this is this is something I believe that we've all we've done in past lives and we've done in other civilizations. And it's because it really does root you to your existence. It roots your energy, again, to the ground and to the heavens, to the cosmos. You know, we are on earth. We are not of earth. Um, we are of the stars. And so this is like the celebration of life, where we come from and where we're going. And the tapestry of it, it leads us to remember that there's a sacred geometry in everyone's life. Everyone has a soul plan or path or program. Okay, so even if you're uh, one of the beings that was created by AI as an NPC or organic portal, you have a program and you have a path, and that is for you to um, carry out and and either continue with or deviate from. And I have seen many uh, go against their programming, and what what ultimately happens is is that you're showing the divine. My alignment is through my heart. I have a heart. My alignment is through the heart energy and the heart chakra and nothing else matters. And you're actually connecting to the divine and you're connecting to the, to being grounded and you're not getting caught up in, in the chaos around you. 
but that soul family and that integration of where you come from and where we actually go back to is coming through and this in the energies that are coming through it really is making people homesick not for a physical place but for an energetic space star brothers Horus energy protection loyalty safety and trust these definitely go together the seven palladian sisters and star brothers okay this is literally telling you that your brothers and sisters on a celestial level have always been a part of the trajectory of earth earthlings humanity's life always they have always played a role in assisting they've always had um an ability to monitor and watch over things and this is why one of the reasons why there will never be a nuclear war they will never allow it they allow the 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 harm that humans want to um dish out to only go so far we are always protected by our star families always forge don't follow pave the new path be the leader you wish you had this is definitely a call to those that are in this life because you raised your hand and you volunteered to come down as a star seed as a light worker and a way shower there's no real set path for us we forge a new path to ascension because we deal with things now that have never ha been dealt with by humanity before so there's not a a a walked path that's already been cleared of all of the obstacles we have to do that along the way. And as we do that, we step into our faith, we walk through our, our courage, and we allow to be led by the divine, then others can see that it's possible and they fall in behind us. We are the way showers. And that's what we're called to do to tap into that. Because just because you have to develop a new path doesn't mean it's the wrong one. If all those really beaten down paths are leading to destruction and they're leading to negative lives. They're leading to negative polarity lives and, and service to, to self decisions. And it's definitely time to forge a new path. Messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. I've always loved this card and I'm going to point out something where the head seems to be up here. And then there's super, super bright light, but it's at, at the throat chakra, okay? And that means to me that a lot of messengers in our collective are getting their throat chakras activated because it's beyond time for them to speak their truth. And it may be that you have not spoken your truth to your family. You may have not have even spoken your truth to yourself. So this is a, a call to action. It's saying you volunteered to be here as a messenger. You've been getting messages. It's time to recognize them and share them. This is exactly the, the thing that was proposed to me a few years back when I decided to step headlong into this mission. And connect with soul family members and help them heal and clear and help them be on their path and trajectory to align to their soul plan and path without taking that step and exercising my throat chakra and speaking my truth I would not have had any success because the the frequency that you were trying to connect to others through is is shared with your voice it's shared with your words it's shared with the sound that you're making. You don't even have to say the right things. You just have to share your truth and share your voice. And that frequency resonates. So this is a call that if you're feeling that you have something to say, you just need to give yourself permission to speak it. The serious energy part of that, I always align to the dolphins and the whales who came here a very, very long time ago to help maintain a frequency high enough so that humanity can help 
themselves rise and have some balance so that we had an, a chance at ascension. They were the they were the high frequency anchors for us and very integral in us getting to where we are now. And without their bravery and their willing to step into a life that they had no idea what to expect and we have treated them horribly as a species, um, we wouldn't be where we are. So we definitely, definitely have to recognize that many, many beings work together to protect us. The Pleiadians, our star brothers, this is Horus energy. This is Egyptian energy. This is Isis. This is Osiris. This goes back to creation. This goes back to the Hathors who seeded life, forging the new path and understanding we have messages worth receiving and sharing. That's what gives us freedom. Remove all negative energy from this deck. I call on the angels, the ancestors. Archangels, Source Creator, Mother Sophia, Guides, Emissaries, Soul Extensions. What is the now moment message for the collective going forward seven Earth days? Didn't even have to ask. Okay, and this is Kyle Gray, Keepers of the Light. St. Germain, karma releasing, move beyond the drama, create your own path, make room for good energy, create your own path, forge, don't follow, create your own path. Same message, different deck, different cards. St. Germain's Violet Flame is the transformational element again we have elements star seed elemental we already have air now we have fire it's the transformational energy that helps to transmute negative to positive hate to love um grudges and resistance and resentment to forgiveness and gratitude and love saint germain AKA my grandfather, soul grandfather has had all the negative polarity lives. He's had all the positive polarity lives. He he's had lives where he had nothing and he's had lives where he had everything. And some of the lives that he had nothing, he had nothing because he didn't fall for the darkness. And some of the lives that he had everything, he had everything because it was a negative polarity life and he was being rewarded by the darkness for doing their work. It is not about what you have. It is not about material things. It is about your energy. It is about your intention. And it is about your soul, your soul energy. What are you going to do with it? Where are you going to allow it to lead you? Karma releasing. All of us incur negative karma and positive karma. Now, this is the live stream that you were to be done with it. So unless you really, really backslid and you really started making those service to self decisions or causing harm to others, you're not going to be reincarnating again. You're going to rise up and out of the karmic cycle and you're going to be in the dharmic cycle and you're going to be living your bliss. Okay, this is not going to require another life to come in and balance more karma. This is what this life has been about. That's why this life has been so difficult for many, many people. However, karma does incur when you really go to those polar shifts where you can be a truly benevolent being and then you get sucked into darkness. And before you know it, you're allowing decisions to be made or you're consenting to to be a part of decisions that cause harm to other benevolent beings that will incur more karma. You will have to incur more reincarnation cycles as an energy being to fully embody the lessons that need to be learned to not have that happen again. So that, that card in itself is like everything that humanity is going through right now, in my opinion. Green Tower, supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation to trust. 
It is commonly known, but you may not be aware, that St. Germain is called in to cut and transmute the cords and attachments that are negative to negative events, negative people, negative places. So it makes perfect sense that Green Terror comes right behind him and saying, cords are being cut. It's time to trust yourself and have faith and in the divine and in the soul plan and contract that you entered into before you ever took your first breath in this planet. You are protected. Again, we're protected. We always have been by our, our star family and the divine. And it is time to move beyond your self-imposed limitations. So in our egoic mind, in our small human mind, we definitely have program limitations in there that says that kick in. As soon as you start to extend outside of your little bubble, your ego is going to pop in and go, who do you think you are? This isn't for you. You're just so-and-so. You're just Amy Smith. Amy Smith doesn't have power. Amy Smith is going to be right where we want her to be all the time. Easily manipulated under the fear, shame, guilt, pain, frustration of earth. That's where we like you to be. All you have to do to break through that is choose to break through that because you are allowing other people projections onto you even if they come from your own ego to pigeonhole your abilities you're better than that you're bigger than that you're more powerful than that you didn't come here to just only come that far push that bully aside and tell them absolutely not this is not all that I came here for I have more to give and I'm going to trust in my own abilities to find my way you're your opinion is no longer needed, Mr. and Mrs. Ego. Holy amethyst, divine alchemy, move beyond current challenges and focus on what you desire. Alchemy is simply transmutation. Transmutation, alchemize, changing one thing form to another. Alchemizing the cords and the limitations, alchemizing anything in your life to be what you want it to be putting forth the energy to be the change, okay, being the change. The holy amethyst, amethyst is a very, very powerful uh, stone for healing, for clarity, for messages, for the, the oracle to pull the, the information through. Lots of times we have amethyst. Uh, when I do a chakra clearing, I'll put an amethyst in the third eye. I put amethyst in the golden crown chakras and it helps uh, to really pull in those messages and clarity and connect on a, on a really higher level. It's very, very powerful. The abilities that you have are all within. They're all within. You have to just understand that they're nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be ashamed of and staying aligned to the divine source creator and staying grounded helps you to magnify your abilities and so you can use them for the greater good it's all about your intention move beyond your current challenges everyone has challenges right now because the the controllers that were know that they've lost and they know that they're losing and they're trying to grapple and and pull back pull some people back some souls back so they can keep, hold on to some power but they've lost and it's just up to you to kick them to the curb and move beyond those challenges. Don't listen to the noise in the narrative because where has it gotten you? What has it done for you to buy into all that stuff? Where, what did it, how did that benefit you? I can guarantee you by turning that off and moving your energy body out to nature and disconnecting from the devices connecting to the ground, listening to the air and the wind is going to do more for you than, than being in any chat room or being a part of, you know, any social media platform that just spews the same um, injustice narrative and vindictive narrative and divisive narrative that that's not benefiting anyone.
move beyond the current challenges. Odin, psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is and follow your intuition. We do all have psychic abilities. It's a matter of what you allow yourself to accept. Yes, there's dark and light. Yes, there's good and bad and everything. Did I know how to handle all this when I first started? No, I opened myself up to the fact that I did not know and I learned. It's as simple as that. How did you learn anything, right? You accepted that you, number one, would be better for experiencing more information and you took what resonated. You know, when you go through your classes, I'm sure there were things that you really gravitated toward and other things that you did not like so much. It's the same thing with energy. You determine, you discern what is good for you and what is bad for you. And you listen to your body that tells you this is where you want to be. And this is where you don't want to be. And this is who you want to engage with. And this is who you do not want to engage with. And seeing with your third eye means that you're taking the judgment of vision, right? So Think for a minute about those without sight. They usually have a very deep appreciation for the other senses that they possess and a very deep um, perception of the beings around them, right? Because they don't have the visual hurdle of judgment. So they don't get to look at someone and go, oh, they're they got red hair. I just can't stand redheads or they are overweight. I just don't really, I just don't understand why I have to, have to deal with someone who's that overweight or they work out all the time and they just look like, you know, uh, all these judgment things, judgment prevents growth, plain and simple. So when you move beyond the sight of your eyes and you go deeper within your energy being and you drop the judgment and you drop the circumstances and you drop all the, the facade, the superficial things and you go deep within that's where truth lives. That's where the essence of a being is, is deep within, not on the exterior. And that is what Odin is saying is that you have the ability to discern the truth within yourself and within others. If you stop judging everyone. This is not for us to judge. Okay. Angels and ancestors. Another Kyle Gray deck. He does really great work. I'm a fan. Remove all negative energy from this deck. Calling in the angels, the archangels, the ascendant masters, soul extensions, emissaries, and guides. What is the now moment message for the collective going forward seven Earth days? Running out of room, so I'm going to do my cut right here. four cards traveler move in a new direction are you being called to move in a different direction if so, this card is reminding you it's okay to change your directions. In fact, I think you have to change your direction in order to forge a new path, right? Because you will literally be on a different path than where everyone else is going, and that's okay. That's okay. You want to trust your intuition. And we are frequency. We are energy. We are called to places that resonate within our being because of past lives, because of it, the importance in the future as well. And so if there's a place that keeps coming to you, um, like Costa Rica, if you're called to Costa Rica, a lot of people are, it's a very high vibrational area on the planet. 
there's a lot of it, it always has had a higher collective consciousness than the than the places around it it's very um it's very uh, holistic in many many places and so if you're being called to costa rica costa rica has a big ties to atlanteans and lemurians so that might be why peacekeeper the harmonious resolution is possible white buffalo calf woman my grand and we, when we meet we we actually um energetically we meet with her m most nights in her teepee in costa rica right now we're we're kind of based out of costa rica and there are some times that we don't, we don't really talk about anything for a minute. Like we just have to let the energy settle. And she, she holds that peace pipe. And then we, we make sense of things. We find our direction. We find the commonalities. We find our purpose and lesson and whatever we're dealing with. And then we pass the pipe and we celebrate the peace that we found. And so peace is peace within, peace of mind, peace within the family, um, peace within the collective. Peace has a lot of different meanings and peace is absolutely possible. And it, it, it definitely comes by way of not being judgmental, not being divisive and being open to new things. So definitely open to a new path. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. When you track down your fear, you're facing it, right? Fear only has power over you while you allow it to have power over you. And when you face your fear, it's like whenever you face the bully that has been, you know, forcing you to do things that is against your soul path. It's against your energy, but you just haven't felt strong enough to stand up to them. But as soon as you do, they cower and go the other way. Bullies are cowards. So when you face your fear, you're taking your power back and you're leveling up on a soul mission. And at the same time, you will realize what your true desires are. You can literally discover and remember who you truly are and what your truest desires are. And they could have never even popped into your mind in this life prior to that moment. How many people feel like they have a revelation when they finally face a fear, that fear that's been holding them back from their truest essence of who they are, the desire, the bliss, the joy. They finally get to do that when you face your fears. It's time to do that. Don't let something, some place, or some person keep you in a fear state because it's a choice. Fear, false evidence appearing real. There's nothing to fear. We are divinely protected, always. Summer, bask in joy and light with the bumblebee. The honeybee, I should say. I love it. I love it because it's frequency, it's healing, it's summer, it's light, it's light codes. The abilities to, um, to know that you're part of something larger, right? So they gravitate together. They, they work toward a common goal. They are all producing positive energy for the collective in a high vibratory state. They don't exist in low vibratory places. Think about that. And they're attracted to a frequency, right? Just like we are, we're attracted to like frequencies to that frequency match. And it's a frequency mismatch that makes us uncomfortable. And we want to move away from that. So this is a, like a call to action. Find your people find your frequency, go to where on your new path, go to where you have common goals, common interests, common intentions, because this is how we transmute and transform where we've been to where we want to go. All right, let's see 
what the overall message of the cosmos. This is not really a card that I interpret in any way, shape, or form. It just gives you a cosmic message. Cosmic message for the collective in this now moment. What is the message that benefits them in this now moment? this for the collective be authentic anything else is just exhausting be authentic be authentic and this is hard for people to do but it's it's it also goes back to board exercising your throat chakra speaking your truth stand in your power right? It is summer right now. We're definitely called to, to, um, spend time together to share in our high vibratory frequency and move together in a common goal. When you hunt down your fears and you face them, you can grasp onto the desires you never even knew you had. This is going to allow you to find your peace, to find that, that peace of mind and that peace in your spirit and the peace in the community around you will start to ripple because of that common goal. So it's perfectly okay to forge a new path, to take a different trip that you ever saw yourself doing. What will lead to that is opening yourself up to new truths, opening yourself up to seeing people, places, and things like you have never seen before because you are dropping the judgment. You are hushing the chaos and the noise around you so that you tune inside your own essence for what is true and what resonates in your being and what doesn't resonate you're going to alchemize that you're going to find this the power within yourself to alchemize what no longer serves you and you will start to gravitate to what does serve you with the protections that we have in place. And if you want to call in Green Tara, she's amazing in giving guidance and saying to release the mundane, release what does not serve you and hold on and call in what serves you. Call in the stars, call in the great central sun, call in your guides, call in St. Germain and help you to transform and alchemize the negative to the positive, the, the bad to good the dark to light. You are a messenger. You have some things people need to hear. That's why your throat chakra is activating. That's why you might have a cough. That's why you might feel like you have a sore throat, but there's really nothing there except truth that is begging you to be release it, to speak it so that you can forge a new path and lead others behind you. We are always protected by our star brothers and our star sisters. You see power in the elements. This is illustrating that, that the paradigm is shifting and there's energy in the air and you can feel it go through. Trust your innocence and we are all innocent in our intentions and our arrival to this place. Don't let someone else's persecution, projections and judgment be placed on you to keep you small. Move that opinion to the side because it is not what serves your highest and best good. Allow the healing to come through love, forgiveness, and gratitude, because through this, we are all freeing each other from the, the cords, the attachments, and the chains that keep us small. And many of you are starseed elementals, and even though you have felt trapped, persecuted, and powerless most of your life, you were some of the most powerful beings in our collective. And I honor you. I honor your path. I honor everything that you have overcome and have yet to overcome. And you are great leaders for the new earth. I hope you've enjoyed this reading today. Remember, be authentic because anything less is just exhausting. If you're interested in a reading, please contact me. You can visit me on violetlotusenergy.com. Or you can send me an email at healingdisclosuresyt at gmail.com. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.